Hi everyone and welcome to Meet the Graduate where we talk to real graduates about their life and career after university. Today I'm joined by Always. How are you today? I'm good thank you. How are you? You okay? Yeah good, doing well. Um, to talk about his journey uh, post-graduation and you know the start of his career journey and, and where it's taken him up until now. Um, so thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, before we get into like the, the juicy bit of your story I thought Maybe you could give us some some basic details. So, what did you study? When did you graduate? And what do you do now? So, I'm I graduated from the University of Bradford. Um, so, I'm going into my second graduation. So, um, I graduated in 2018, uh, doing my undergrad, uh, and now hopefully uh, in uh, in December I'll be graduating in my postgrad. Um, so, yeah, that's that. And um, how has your first experience of the world of work been? Have you, have you had a job whilst you've been studying? And, and if so, could you talk to me a little bit about how that's been and, and how you found that? Yeah, so that was um, obviously at the university, um, at the Students' Union. So um, I started, um, you know, working. Uh, my first proper job was you know, as, as a UBU sabbatical officer, the activities officer for the union. Um, so that was my proper job, uh, proper first first kind of you know, taste of, of what, what it's like um, in, in, in the real world. And it's been good. Um, you know, it's, I've, I've gained a lot of experience from that. Um, you know, it's been really beneficial for myself, you know, growing as a, as a, you know, as, as a person, um, you know, making them connections, uh, making sure that, you know, um, you know, stuff is done, like, you know, attending meetings and stuff like that, you know, just just to get into... Um, you can say the real world work because obviously the real world work for myself will be outside the university. Yeah. You know, being being inside the university, you know, you're kind of in that comfort zone. But now, um, obviously, I've left um, now, so I'm obviously looking for a, for a job, um, you know, which is outside the university. So that, that that for me would be the real, real, you know, real world work. But the skills and and and, and the, the attributes that I've learned from working at the university. You know, it'd be very, very beneficial for me uh, going forward. So yeah. Um, I was wondering if you could maybe talk to me about how you found this role and and what made you decide to take up a role at your university in the first place. Because yeah. I don't think it's something. Well, I don't think it's something all graduates and students consider, but it's actually a great way to get experience and and you know really give back to your university community. So how did you find the role? Like, how, how did you decide to apply for it? Yeah, so um, I started off um, obviously being a part of the union because with me, just a quick long story short, but what I I actually fail, failed my first year at university because first of all, I didn't like the course that we're doing and second, I didn't mingle with anyone and I didn't, you know, get, get involved. It was just me, you know, just the fact that um, I just go to the, the, the lecture and then just go, you know, just go home, you know, just travel, yeah. you know, not, not interact with them. I was very like a, like a loner kind of thing, but um, it, you know, it, it was one of them. But then, obviously, I got got involved with some societies, um, the Islamic Society, for example. Um, got involved with them, um, and you know, from there, it just grown upon me. Like, you know, being the home based students officer, being the mature students officer, a couple of years. Wow. Um, and then, you know, my time came that you know I thought, you know what, let's take it up to one, you know, to 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 another another level, and that's how I became, you know, a, a, a sabbatical officer. But Obviously, it wasn't easy, you know, you know, obviously getting, um, you know, get involved, you know, getting our campaign team together, you know, you've got to win elections, so you've got to win, obviously, the, 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 the votes. Um, so that, that was, that wasn't, that, that was, that was a bit difficult. Um, you know, even had some um, bad times, you know, campaigning, even my posters got burnt down and stuff like that. So it was, it was, wow. a, it was an experience. I know yeah. it was an experience. I don't, I don't tell everyone, you know, I don't, I don't tend to tell you know, a, a lot of people, but that even happened to me. Um, and that was like, well, this is, this is politics here, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so no, but, but, you know, obviously, um, you know, obviously our university handled it very, very well, you know, in a sensible manner. Um, so that, that was good, um, which was nice to see and nice to be a part of. Um, so it was good. Um, so yeah, that, that's how yeah. my, my journey kind of, you know, came, came about. Um, it, nevertheless, it was interesting. Um, but yeah, that's how I became a sub officer. So you really kind of found it, found an employment and found a job through taking part in your community and kind of throwing of yourself into societies, yeah. which yeah. is a great yeah. journey. Um, I was wondering if maybe you could 
tell me a little bit about the skills that you've learned through this job and maybe some of the skills that you already had from studying and how you kind of yeah. built on them to to um to succeed in, in the role that you've been you've had for the past so year. I've, I've always had a, a passion for uh, marketing especially online like you know your social media and stuff like that so i had that I, well, I was you know i'm still i'm a, a web designer so i do kind of design oh, wow. for small small little companies so i do design you know websites and stuff like that but that's the skills that i already had but going into this employment you know taking over the whole of instagram of the university which is about you know takes about i think uh, we I think we have about ten thousand you know followers on our on our social media, especially yeah. on our Instagram. So taking that during lockdown as well, so taking that um, you know all on my control. So that was a really good experience for myself. You know, managing little campaigns like, for example, National uh, Health Awareness you know, Week. Uh, we had other campaigns going on. You know, um, the Black History. Uh, sorry, the um, you know the, the incident that happened. Yeah, um, the uh, BLM, that's the black. So we, we we did campaigns on that as well, and really raising awareness. And that's where my kind of you know eureka moment kind of came. That's kind of my touch, you know, on onto onto my marketing kind of you know wow. uh, outlook kind of thing. So that was that was good, and the support and and the the the, the help that I got from you know students union, all the staff, all the team, it was really really nice to see. Um, so that was that. Um, using my degree, yeah, supply chain management. Um, another thing that I you know, was lacking of is networking. So I was a very shy, still am, you know, wouldn't even stand up to 10 people, you know, speaking. I was a very, you know, very, very shy and stuff like that. So again, the Students' Union came into into my kind of uh, support and help, you know, at graduation. So last year, last year's graduation, we did, you know, all all four sabbatical officers actually had to do a speech. Oh, wow. Of, you know, a lot of people. So then again, again, you know, that, that really helped me that really helped me in that sense that you know I can speak up and you know in, in front of people and that's what I was you know thinking that's that if I if I could take one thing away from you know this this job would be you know that you know speaking in, in front of large kind of audiences and stuff like that so that's really really helped me um so yeah that that, that was that was one thing that I, I kind of you know grasped along the way yeah yeah, we talk loads about transferable skills and soft skills and how your how your <clears throat> your course and your job both require these things. Yeah. So something yeah. like presentation and public speaking is super important. And I think what you said about discovering your passion is so nice because you know, sometimes you don't you don't realise you love something or you care about something yeah. until you, yeah. you actually do it. So that's amazing. Um just touching on the yeah. pandemic which you just did then. Yes. Um I was yes, wondering yes, if yes. you could talk to me a little bit about how you've um, found the experience of applying for jobs during the pandemic and and kind of what your strategy has been to kind of you know deal with the situation and look forward and stay positive and stuff okay so um I actually started applying well before so um, one day I had a little you know moment kind of thing that what am I going to do after my job as, as a sabbatical officer so in January I started applying you know um, you know pretty much all over looking at my marketing looking I had my cv you know tip top you know yeah you know all already sorted out and that was thanks to you know the careers advice at, at our university and um, so i'll just touch upon them later on but how i did that so you know in january I started applying then you know i i could have applied again for my job but i just didn't you know feel that you know i've done enough and let's move on and so started applying and then obviously the pandemic hit and then i went into a kind of like a little low I think, mm. oh, what's going to happen to me? How am I going to cope? You know, it's going to be hard for me, difficult. Um, so then obviously, you know, I carried on, you know, searching and looking. And luckily, our, our careers advice centre here at Bradford University allows, you know, support for five years after you graduate. So our okay. career team um, at the university, so they'll help you with CV checks, they'll help you with finding a job, you know, making sure you, you your interviews pop on, you know, making sure your application is, is on point kind of thing. So that's the benefit that we, you know, as here at the University of Bradford have of that. And, you know, until, up until this day, I'm still, you know, using their services, um, using, you know, uh, uh, using their guidance, using their help, you know, into finding a job. Yes, I know it's going to be difficult. Uh, don't get me wrong, it will be. You know, it's not, I know for a fact it's not just me. It's pretty much, you know, quite a lot of graduates uh, who are, you know, who are, um, you know, struggling. But one advice I'd give, just carry on, just carry on, you know, take, take every day as a job to find a job. 
yeah. the goal line, you know, do that pretty much every day. And, you know, you never know, you might get, you might get uh, that, that, that job. So that's, that's one advice I'd give, you know, carry on looking, don't give hope, don't give, you know, don't, don't, don't lose hope. And hopefully, you know, that, that will be you know, good for yourself. Yeah, really good advice. I, I completely agree. Um, t- touching on your career service and support you've received there, um, I was wondering maybe you could say a bit about specifically how they've helped you or yeah. the kind of things that you personally did. Because, I mean, I love career services. I think they're yeah. amazing. They're super useful. And, and I think more people should rely on them. But sometimes uh, students and grads don't really know where to start or they're not sure what yeah. they should specifically ask for. So yeah. I don't know if you're comfortable sharing what, what you went in to yeah, get help sure. for. Um, so how, how I, it was, it wasn't too hard for, for, for me to get in because obviously working at the university, it wasn't an issue that, I, you know, had uh, connections everywhere, basically. Um, so what, what I did was um, uh, a lady called Hermione Berry who, who's helped me throughout um, and she's part of the career service. So, you know, I emailed her, um, you know, I said to her, look, you know, I'm, I'm obviously just finishing. And she knows my position and everything at, at the union. And we've met a couple of times. You know, I'm very familiar with her. I said, look, um, obviously I'm finishing um, at the, at, as, as a sub officer. And is it possible can, if you can, you know, give, give me some guidance and some help? And straight away, you know, within, you know, a, a, a day or two, I got on the phone to her. We had a chat about my CV, how I could improve it, you know, um, you know how, how I can improve my cover letter. So it's obviously, you know, the student's job to, to obviously go out and look, you know, for careers, services and stuff like that. Um, you know, and, and our career team are advertising it really well. They have virtual uh, um, you know, CV checkups. They have a, they have a on 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 a, on the job teaser website. They've got a full kind of, you know, kind of uh, section that you can have appointments. You can have you know one to one CV checks, uh, in depth CV checks, a fifteen minute talk. So the 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 opportunity and and the chance and is there. You know, the, the yeah. supports there. It's just for the students getting out there and, and, and looking at. And I, I didn't really know about job teaser, you know, three, three four, four months ago since, you know, only a couple of months ago I knew about it. And uh, I go, job teaser, hang on a minute. This is, you know, this is our kind of portal kind of yeah. thing you know, that the university use. So I went on there, I, I actually looked myself and, you know, um, and then from there, you know, it's just, um, the, it's grown and it's really easy to use. Job teaser is not not hard to yeah. use at all you know it's, it's a very simple kind of you know uh, um, mechanism to use so yeah so i'd advise you know people go into job teaser log in very simple you know as you would normally log into your uh, um uh, account at, at university and just do it from there and, and you, you should be okay and you get top level help as well you get really good you know our our career team the thing with them is that they're, 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 they've got industry experience they know how hard it's to find a job you know, they've, 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 they've gone into, they've been into, in, in your steps as well. They've noticed, you know, obviously they, they, they've done that. So, um, so it's good, you know, to have that kind of uh, uh, in-depth knowledge and, and, and help from, from, you know, our career service. So yeah, make sure to yeah. have a look at that. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's something that we, you know, all students and grads should, should think about because it's, it's really, right. really useful. Um, okay, so Ladies. now looking looking forward a little bit, I wonder if you could yeah. um, talk a little bit about how you see your career journey going or um, kind of what you're trying to achieve, but also maybe how you're staying positive and, and yeah. how you kind of, because um, it can be scary graduating and, and moving on into the world of work, so what you're it doing is. to try to keep yourself positive, especially now that you've had this experience of, of having a job at your university, of course. what you're going to take from that with you into the, into the future. Yeah. Um, so um, obviously, uh, I've still got my degree to finish. Um, so I've, I'm still in that process. Um, so I've I've got two kind of you know kind of um, plans. So plan A would be obviously looking for a job using the career service. You know, always keeping, you know, uh, always always having that hope of getting a job. Never looking, you know, saying oh you know one day you know whatever. I'm not going to find a job. There's no point looking. No, it's not. It, it shouldn't work like that. That's plan A. Just finding a job. You know, it's. I think employees are still. You know, looking as as lockdown is opening slowly, slowly. You know, businesses are opening once again. Yeah. Um, you the the opportunities will be there, and maybe 
you know, for example, even if you put an application in in February time, you know, maybe they might look back on that. You know, employees will will look back on that and say, look, this is what we, this is the candidate that we had, you know, and you know, by all means, you know, we're going to reconsider his application, and 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 you will, you know, you you will get that opportunity. So there's there's nothing really to be worried about, you know. That that is that is your kind of. Um, you know, uh, even if you do get rejected, I've I've personally got rejected a couple of times. You know, I, I think I'll get a hundred rejections, and then one day I might just get a job. You know, you just gotta keep plowing, yeah, keep, keep moving, keep moving forward. Uh, don't lose that hope. That's 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 what I would I would definitely suggest. Um, so plan that's plan A. Plan B is obviously go, maybe going back to studying, um, because I am you know through the networks that I've had and through that kind of you know, uh, interaction with, you know, senior uh, people at the university and maybe doing a PhD. So that's another kind of, you wow. know, that's kind of my plan B. So that, 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 that's, that's what, what I'm, I'm thinking. If I do get a stable job, you know, a, a decent job, according to my kind of field, according to my kind of degree, then I don't think there's, you know, um, any reason, maybe, maybe a couple of years experience, you know, whilst doing that job, but then come back to do my PhD, that's not a problem. But you know, number one priority is you know getting a, getting a job, but then I've got something to fall back on. You know, yeah. I would I would recommend you know obviously yes, if you cannot find you know a, a suitable job, um, you know you should have like a plan B. So what I'm doing at the moment, I'm working at Amazon, so the the delivery you know service kind of thing. Yeah. So I know it's busy. Um, so you know it's even even if it's not to do with your degree. So if you, if you're working in as the you know Tesco supermarket, it doesn't matter. It's just to get by. You know, yeah. you, you're not going to be there forever. You know, you're more than capable. You, you, you've got. You're a good. You know, you're a graduate. You know, it's very rare a graduate. You know, goes goes on to you know working for in in Asda all his life. No. So, but what I'd suggest, even for newcomers who are thinking about going to university, is really get involved at the university. Yeah. You know, get involved in societies, build up that CV because I can remember if you ask this, if this. If this question was asked to me about four or five years ago, I would like, I would say, Molly, I don't want to do this. I don't, I don't know what yeah. to say. I, I, I wouldn't, I would just reject your, it, no disrespect, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I just reject your, your filming or whatever it is. Um, so, you know, really get involved. It's not about, you know, just getting your degree and going home. It's not about that. Yes, that will take you to the interview table. That will, that degree will, but it's the extracurriculum activities that will, you know, give you that boost, that push. Completely. Because it will look at employees, you know, employees will think he's not just a book nerd or he, she's not just a book nerd. She, you know, he or she, um, you know, is, you know, going out there, you know, doing, you know, out of the box kind of stuff, you know, being a part of societies, being president of societies, getting involved, you know. So, you know, make sure you do, you know, when you do go to university, you do have that kind of upper hand. So when it time, when it's come to finish, you know, you, you, you're more employable. Um, so that's one one advice that I would, I would want to give. So, yeah. yeah, such good advice. <laughs> you said it better than I could say it myself. Yeah, I'd really keep your options open. <laughs> yeah. It is a career yeah, really. journey. You can have plan A, plan B, plan C. You know, just oh, keeping your keeping your options open is is a great thing to do. Um, just to finish off, I was wondering if you could give me maybe sure. one thing you've learned or one skill that you've learned. I know you touched on earlier public speaking, but not just in the yeah. in the role that you held at your university, but throughout your time studying, um, your one overall skill that you think you're going to take with you into into the world of work, and the yeah. one that you're maybe most proud of to have to have picked up at university. The confidence, confidence, confidence. That that is really you know key for me. So, you know, being confident, holding events at universities, holding you know conferences at university, holding society meetings holding you know all that so that's that's how my that's one thing I've learned you know be more confident you know I'm in this position uh, you know I've been selected by you know the, the 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 university students and I know that being confident will just help me more and help yeah. me shine more and if you take a you know sit back and just you know not not be confident in your ideas and in your perceptions then you, know, you don't go far so that's one advice just be confident in every single thing you do because you know, you know, you can do it, you know, it's, it is possible, you know, that, you know, you're a graduate, you know, you can do it. Um, and that's what I'm, I'm thinking right now. Every day, you know, wake up, I never have that thinking that, oh, damn, I'm not going to find a job. I'm not going to do, no, I don't have that kind of thing. I take each day as it comes, 
you know, keep myself busy, keep keep yourself active as well. You know, of course, obviously, thank God gyms are opening on the 25th of <laughs> July. Thank you, thank God. Um, but no, keep, keep, keep yourself active. Keep yourself, you know, um, you know, sometimes you might need to take your mind off stuff, you know. So during this lockdown, I've obviously joined uh, my tennis club back again. So play tennis, you know, on, on a regular. So keep yourself, you know, um, out and about kind of thing. Um, but make sure you keep yourself confident and make sure that, you know, you, you can do this. Um, you know, and so that, that, that's that, yeah. And never that's lose hope. A, yeah, that's such a nice message to lean on because I think sometimes looking for a job, especially now, it can feel all consuming and, and like it's yeah. the only thing that's going on in your life. Yeah. But you're right. Yeah. Stay, one, having the confidence in yourself and really believing in yourself, but also yeah. staying yeah. busy, staying active. It's, it's a great way yeah. to balance your days for really. sure. And and luckily, sorry, sorry, Molly. To call no, you, no, but no. Luckily, go I've, ahead. I've got I've got support from family as well. You know, they're with me like you know, hundred and ten percent. They're always behind me. You know, even if you know, no matter what the situation is, you know, uh, my family are are there for me. And that's that's another thing that I've got. Um, you know, that's that's so helpful for myself. You know, um, so that's that's really nice to see. Um, so yeah, that's that's yeah. a really good thing. Um, so yeah. That, that yeah, having fun. a support network it is it's super yeah, useful. Support yeah, network. it's really, 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 really good. Um, well, I think that's where we're going to leave it all today. Thank you so much Me? for your sharing your no story problem. and your time with us. Um, to everyone watching, no thank you for tuning in. Um, you can thank see you. our upcoming Meet the Graduates on the events tab on the Job Teaser platform and also in your student newsletter. Um, don't forget to follow Job Teaser at Job Teaser UK on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Job Teaser UK, where these videos are hosted. Um, thank you again for your time today and thanks everyone for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.